going to do a quick video on the bolts real quick because uh, obviously we don't come in Raj doesn't come with an instruction manual um, since the majority of our stuff is sent to dealers who have done one before done three five ten before so that's not really a big deal um, but for those of you who order online um, and get one direct um, you might need to figure out what bolts go where so I'll show you real quick all right so I got my I got a thing there now the four that are the same that have the little flat spot and that are the same length these are the four that go here so find these four first because they're easiest and I just like setting them in there so they're out of the way all right uh, your spring out here it goes with the green one the green one has probably you should have a lock washer and uh, a green nut what I do with these I put the um, kickstand through I slide this on the back side and then we screw on the back until that's tight and that's your kickstand so set those together what else what else we're we looking for this is going to be your rear shock bolt this long skinny one and it's roughly three inches and it does have a uh, nut with some teeth on it right now we've already taken out one four five six parts obviously this thing right here is for your on your handlebars it's going to have the two green ones are going to be the ones that go with it if you notice on the all the handlebar parts always have the green bolts uh, let's see now there should be four of these and these are for your foot pegs okay these are a six millimeter look at that little inch and a quarter and there should be four of these six millimeter allen head so you can set those aside those are for your um, f rear foot pegs those are the rear foot pegs now this is your new axle nut um, use this one and you can remove the uh, little axle nut that uh, comes on it and just toss it and use this one when you assemble your bike and that's the biggest thing biggest nut and the thing should be very obvious what it is now these two right here are two six millimeter um, allen head bolts a little bit shorter seven eighths these are the two that go on the under your side of your uh, ignition lock cylinder so that white part is your ignition lock cylinder use these two okay those go up from the bottom with a six millimeter before that the very first thing you'll put on your bike is these two longer eight mils regular hex head and as you can see these are an inch and one eighth there's two of them these will be what screw into your um, like the cover I'll show you these are the first things that will go in so right there these are going to be the two that go in there first and then you take your lock cylinder and go up into that with those two guys so those will be those kind of go together in a way but there's only two now let's take out these two other stainless steel looking bolts these two right here they're 8 8 bolts these are your front brake calipers okay see, see how they have no uh, flat spot so you can't confuse them with these and your two brake caliper bolts are looks like one and three eighths inches there's two of them so you can set those aside let's see what else here's your front fender bolts that's your uh, front wheel spacer so we can set that aside too front front wheel spacer but here is your front fender bolts for the bracket there's the two in front there's one in the rear put this one first obviously all right and then these two where's the two littlest ones the two shortest ones like this this is for the instrument cluster I think there's one already in the bike 
So I'm going to set that aside because there's one already up there. But there are two of these. And you'll use these two um, for the actual instrument cruster. Now, what I like doing is taking the four that are the same size, like this. Should be four that are the same size. I like using these four for the rear rack, okay? Uh, I suppose you don't have to. You could just use two and use two of these. Um, that's an option too. Um, <clears throat> and then you'll be using two of the lock washers with it and two of the spacers with it. Um, this is your one extra fender bolt. So you'll need this and a piece of rubber, the rubber thing. Um, those actually, the rubber piece is probably in your owner's manual bag and that's where you'll find that. This is going to be, this big washer is going to be for your shock, rear shock. Um, and these, uh, let's see, oh I got two. Alright, I got one back up. But, um, and use these other two. I like using these for the fairing stay uh, bar that goes between the front tank fairings. Underneath, I like putting these uh, lock washers on the back side so they don't go nowhere. But, um, these rest of these, you can use two. The bigger ones, where's the bigger ones? Right here. There should be four of them. Let's see. Here's one. Put that back over there. One, two, three, four. Use these for your rear foot peg bolts. That leaves me right here with potentially one, two, three, four extra washers and three. Uh, oh, that's right. The two you'll need for the front of the fender bracket. Now I could use um, really you need these though like it only sends us with one uh, so you might if you can't get these to fit you might need to use uh, you really need a bolt this length uh, for the the fender so so once you put this in and you'll put it in your bracket um, you'll find out that using these two is probably going to be too short and uh, even that little bit of difference will help out a lot so you might need to go find a second one of these if you can't get these to fit but those that's what they're there for and then uh, so that leaves me with I can use you know when I do that when I do that so everything's used right here because these two are going to go in the back of that Okay, so that should break it down for tank bearing, fairing bolt, uh, the bottom black bar that goes between both fenders, that's what there's for. Front fender, uh, the bolts that go up into the triple tree, right here, the two for the front, one for the rear, and you'll need the two extra for the black bracket. Uh, these four you can use for the tank, or that's sorry, the uh, luggage rack. There should be two of these for your instrument cluster. These two are for the um, kind of like the ignition lock cover, which has all like the directions on off, on, lock, the silver part. These are for the ignition lock cylinder itself. Front brake caliper, uh, front axle bolt, handlebar clamps, and four bolts. That is um, this is your kickstand, rear shock lower bolt, rear foot peg bolts and washers, front axle spacer, and this will be whatever. It seems like the manufacturers put either sometimes they do clutch cover, clutch lever, the perch lever, um, or the throttle side. One side's always assembled, one side's not, and if you get this, this is probably for the left side. I haven't looked though, so, but it's for one of the handlebar control options. But uh, that should cover.